I'm not even sure I remember how to do this correctly, guys, but it's happening. I'm rolling up the skirt, as they say. <laughs> Is that how you do it? I don't even remember how we did it. This clipper's broken. Oh man, we got a huge breach in our system here. Hopefully this bad boy works. Oh my Enabled. How hot do you want it in here, baby? 20 degrees. Let's make it Mexico temperature. I think it's time to put on something a little warmer. <laughs> I guess that'll work. Let's go. Give you guys an idea. Three days ago we were in Mexico. It was 30 degrees. Today it's zero degrees. And I think we both have mixed feelings about it. I think it's super important that we're getting out and walking around. Yeah. Because the last two days all we've done is drive yeah. and we have cabin fever. Yeah, and we we're also just about to punch each other in the face. <laughs> so hopefully things get better. a minor frostbite. Look, it's like yeah, black. Yeah, it looks brutal. I mean, it's so white. <gasps> clickbait, clickbait, frostbite. Frostbite in Chicago. <laughs> oh, you lost a finger. <laughs> it's actually Okay, really go beautiful. buy some gloves. Look, this guy's smart. He's buying gloves. You gotta buy gloves. <laughs> Seriously, go buy gloves. Okay. We thought with Becca's new investment in her gloves, and she might be able to bear the weather for the golden hour, but no tango. We're in Starbucks warming up, and then we're gonna head to what's it called? 17 Cable. Kitchen 17, I guess. Kitchen 17, deep dish five. Into the cabin. Yeah, don't go in that one because we want to keep it warm. What do you mean? Well, like, we don't need to go in there right now. We just need to get in the car and drive. Oh, yeah, okay. So keep that warm. All right. Got it? Yeah. Is it warm in here? Outside. Three days ago, as we were leaving Texas, Aaron and I did a really big grocery shop and we said we're not going to go out to eat or anything, we're just going to make a bunch of food on the road. So we're fully stocked, but we have this thing about the 4th of every month and today is April 4th. Basically the 4th is our number, so the first time we ever kissed or anything was on the 4th. The day Aiden asked me if he could start calling me his girlfriend was on the 4th. The day we got engaged was the 4th. Your favorite number is the 4th. My favorite number is 4, which was like all completely unrelated to everything going down. And so, um, on the 4th, if we remember, we call it Romance Day. I always remember. No, you don't. I usually remember. <laughs> In the beginning, we were great at remembering, but we try our best to do something special. So today, since we're in Chicago... Deep dish pizza. Deep dish pizza. Deep dish... Then turn left onto East Upper Wacker Drive. This keeps saying 10 minutes, and then it'll be 15 minutes, and then it'll be 10 minutes. It's redirected. Redirected. Every turn, turn you make, every drive, smile right you take, I'll Avenue. be watching. Redirecting again? <laughs> I'm sorry you missed two exits. Two. I don't know what neighborhood we're in, but it's pretty busy. And we kind of did a cheeky little stop at Walgreens because there was nowhere to park. So thank you, Walgreens. <laughs> Hello, table 17. Yeah. Kitchen 17, I think. It smells like I'm at a wing joint. It's a fire. Kitchen 17. They got their trance music on lock. Feel the vibe, I feel the vibe. Pretty good wings. Here's your pizza. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Anything else? So you have to ignore the uh, trance going down. Pizza overall, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Never had a deep dish pizza before, but definitely a different experience. They got the sauce on the top. The crust is really nice. Quite a bit of a crunch to it. 
Um, seitan pepperoni is probably the best part. It's, it's quite chunky, chewy flavor. Uh, mozzarella cheese, pretty good. Overall, solid aid. What up, man? You want a pizza? Yeah. Some leftover pizza. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here you go, bro. Man. There we nice go. You, buddy. We're making him vegan too. He doesn't even know it. <laughs> He's like, score pepperoni yeah. pizza. <laughs> He's like, that pizza sucks. <laughs> There's a lot of homeless people here in Chicago. There are a lot, lot of homeless people here in Chicago. I feel like a really common question we get is how we find parking at night, especially when we're in big cities. And to be honest, in cities or it's tricky yeah it can get really tricky so there's an app that we use that we got introduced as we were heading into mexico um it's called i overlander so i've checked i overlander and there isn't anything in the proper downtown chicago so we'll either look we're just, we're just kind creeping. of creeping yeah we're just kind creeping. of creeping. we like to creep and look at like residential vibes like Obviously, this is a main street, but if you go down this street, it looks like these are pretty. There's a one way that would have been a good one to go down. Yeah. And just kind of like it looks like it's pretty, they're pretty busy, but just kind of have a look. And if you can park there overnight, usually we'll roll in, keep all the lights off, and then just well, maybe you'll see in a sec. An alternative is always to look for a Walmart, or we'll just leave the city entirely and go to a truck stop. Especially when we're driving on these long drives, we don't really care because it's not like we're going. Well, I don't know. Are we going to get up and hang out in Chicago uh, tomorrow morning? I'm not sure. Fire hydrant. Fire hydrant. So once you've found the spot, don't be opening think, your doors and drawing any attention. Just be really quiet and go to sleep. Just pass out. Just pass Another out. great one is obviously like reference your friends. Like we know people that have been like in Chicago. So like send them a DM, you know, be like, yo, where'd you park? Mm -hmm. If you know any cool spots, cause that's what it's all about is sharing the cool spots. This looks busy though, babe. Look at this street, this little side street is packed. Yeah. I think we might need to uh, give Walmart a call. I hate <laughs> Walmart. You can air and sleep at your place for a minute. Walmart that's never says no. Resource. I wonder if there's one in the city. Walmart neighborhood market may close within one hour of when you arrive. I don't know if you guys saw our server was killing it on the techno vibe. I don't know if you saw him, but he was like, he went to uh, like put put a di dish down. He was carrying like a plate and a cup. And he was like behind the bar. And like, you can tell the beat was about to drop. <laughs> he just quickly put it down and then he, just to like get that in, you know, and then picked it up and finished what he's doing. Cause it's a vibe, babe. It's like a feeling. Oh, You've dude, got to get it's out. It's a vibe. On a completely unrelated side note, I can remember being in Oaxaca going to sleep and it was so hot on the beach. So, so hot. And I said to everyone, I have to remember that I'm about to have to put my heater back on in a couple of days and brave negative temperatures again. So I'm just putting myself back in Oaxaca Vibing out. Vibing out. Come on, Walmart. Three. Two. two. Oh. Walmart. Your destination is on the right. Neighborhood market. See? It's too tiny though. Sugar me timber, there's no parking. Shoot, should I look up, uh, should I just put in Toronto and then we'll get on the highway and stop at a truck stop? Do you want me to do it? We're gonna get out of the city. It was a lot of fun, Chicago. Thanks for having us. We're gonna get on the highway and just pull off the first truck stop. We are basically, you know, truck stop vets at this point. I know all the truck stops. Amen, especially from Pilot his- Pilot of Line J. <laughs> Route 66. There isn't a truck stop you haven't touched, huh? I've met them all. Anyways, we feel really comfortable at them. There's often lots of truckers sleeping there. So we tried parking on the neighborhoods. We tried a Walmart, but it was way too downtown. And now we're going to the deep, deep levels of the low. Did I miss? I just missed it. Sorry, babe. Not, not now. Oh, there's a Walmart there. Where? Right there. Did we miss it? Yeah. Do you want to stop there? How do we do that? Well, you got to commit to this toll now. Here we are trying to make a vlog about where to sleep <laughs> while living in a van. And I guess the best thing you could say is you usually don't know. And if you're not alright with that, then you might not be alright with van life. But, but also, just a 
sidebar here. Uh -huh. We typically don't leave where we're gonna sleep up until. Sorry. That's not true. No, no, that's not true. Yeah, we would normally know where we're gonna sleep before it's like dark. Not always. Not Mostly. when we're doing like commutes like this. Yeah, but when we're commuting, it's different because then we just park out our truck. Yeah, like day to day. Yeah. Yeah, usually you'll have a spot or you'll know of a spot. But if you're like doing long hauls, you don't have a clue where you're going. All right, guys, not sure if you can see. No, you can't really see that, but there's a truck stop over there. So we're thinking about hitting that, but I don't know, babe, because this, uh, depends if this actually lets us exit or if this is just merging us on the 94. We're okay. good. This thing's surrounded by highways. How did y'all get there? We got quite a bit of options here tonight. Truck wash, truck stop, I'm just pulling in. Pull alongside one of these beautiful rigs over here. Keep going all the way to the end there. Bubs, we're a little tinier than this guy, but yeah. we can fit. I feel like it's gonna be so loud. I know, do you wanna sleep here? Or do you wanna find another spot? There's like, there's like a whole back area too. Like we're in the Flying J, there's also a TA, like just beside it. Both those trucks are on. These guys might be running their trucks they're cold. They might not have a uh, S bar D2 heater like us. So are you gonna find me a spot to sleep? All right, that's the case. You gotta show them where we're running the trucks. Okay, there. because we've committed to showing you where we sleep at night. And you know we always keep it 100. So Eamon was talking about the truck etiquette, and it's so funny, they all line up perfectly so they can get out. Truck, massive truck. <laughs> Trinity looks so small. Massive truck, massive truck. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Tucking in for a good night's sleep. I got a little scratch on my back. Could you get that? Right there, that's perfect. I'm not used to wearing all this cotton. <laughs> all these shoes and socks and oh, sweaters. Man. I'm hoping it warms up because I don't know if I can deal with this. I know, honestly, if Maybe. any, Mexico is such a reminder of how awesome van life is. Yeah. We were just surviving in the winter in Canada, but we uh, were thriving not... in Mexico. So Might need to go back to Mexico after these two shows. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog about us in Chicago, where you kind of park, where you kind of stay, how you do it. Mm -hmm. If you have any specific cues, you can always hit us up on IG at Amon, at Rebecca Maroney, and anything else you want to say? Um. No, that's it. The next time you'll see us, we'll be back in Toronto probably. So definitely. Thanks for joining the journey home, and we'll catch you soon. Catch Wait, you, catch like, you. subscribe. They know that. Catch you in the six with the most. One more thing. You want to know what happens when you have pizza and tacos? Your six pack turns into that. Buddy, you never had a six pack. At least it's tanned.